So our first text in this course is Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics. To a large extent, everything important about this book uh, for this course we're going to encounter as we go through the book. I'll point those out in the specific videos for the specific chapters that we read. There's really only one point to keep in mind before we start reading. I'm not going to give an overview of Aristotle's life or the historical context or anything like this. That's all very valuable information, but in the context of an introductory ethical course, we're just not going to go into that sort of detail. We're just, we just want to learn what is Aristotle's ethical theory? What does he think about ethics? And the only thing you need to know sort of before going in at all is to get kind of an idea of Aristotle's method. So what kind of philosophy is he doing? How does he think we should be doing philosophy? And especially how does he think we should be doing ethics? And the way Aristotle does philosophy is that he's a very practical thinker. He's a very uh, straightforward thinker. He sits down and he says, look, what do people generally say about ethics uh, or the ethical question that I'm interested in? You know, what's the common wisdom? What do people uh, around me think? What have other philosophers said? What uh, are the various opinions that are floating around out there, especially the sort of best opinions or the most commonly held opinions? And let's sort of, I don't know, compare them all against each other, see what they agree on, look at what they disagree on, where they agree, probably they're right about things, where they disagree, let's sort of think it through and maybe pick the best position. Uh, it's not like he's not giving any arguments himself. He does give arguments for his positions, but he doesn't want to just sit there and think everything up from uh, brand new. He's not creating an ethical system out of nothing. He's starting with what we kind of already know, what we kind of already accept, and he's trying to refine it a bit uh, wherever it doesn't make sense, or wherever there are conflicting points, people disagree about things, or wherever there are internal contradictions. He's trying to resolve those sorts of things and come to the sort of most reasonable conclusion. And so, uh, again, it's a very practical kind of approach, not uh, a sort of theoretical, hypothetical sort of thing. And this means when you read Aristotle, you have to be very careful to tell when is he talking about what other people think and when is he talking about what he thinks. Often those two line up. Often he'll agree with common wisdom or he'll agree with other philosophers, but uh, you have to keep them separate. So figure out when is he agreeing, when is he sometimes disagreeing, when is he going against common wisdom. And so just be very careful as you read to make sure when I see a position described or an argument described, is this Aristotle's argument or is this somebody else's? And he's very clear about this. He'll say, it is often said, or people say, or this philosopher says, or Plato argues. And he'll use those sorts of words or phrases to refer to other views. And then when he's referring to his own views, he'll typically just say something as if it's true. So he'll say, this is what the case is. This is how this feature of ethics works. So keep that methodology in mind. Pay close attention to when it's Aristotle and when it's not, and that will help you a lot as you go through the book.